Well, beautiful day today, folks. Maybe not so beautiful. About 30 mile an hour winds gusting, about 38, 39 degrees. Ah, I know that's that's considered warm up north. Well, this ain't up north. This is Texas where things are either way too hot or way too cold, at least for us. Hardly any metal. I buy old records. I'm Max Stevens, and uh, we're on our way to the big flea market. Gonna do my walking, gonna see if some of my folks are there that have records. Look for the odd civilian that just might have brought in some stuff that nobody's gone through. And I don't mind going through records that other people have gone through. They miss a lot of stuff. I don't miss so much, or at least not much that I'm interested in. So, sit back with me. Plenty of room for you over here in the side. And uh, let's go to the flea market, hit some places on the way home, and make a day of it. I eat. Okay, I'm arrived. Well, there's not a whole lot of uh, people here, and I don't expect to be so many people here. I always show up a few days before the thing opens in earnest anyway. Try to get the early deals and all. Of course, then the later vendors uh, miss out on my patronage. But anywho, that's... Uh, what I do, and if it looks like it's going to be a big weekend and there's not many people here early, then I'll probably come back. All right. I'm trying out my new high-tech camera mount here called string and duct tape. How's it going? Good. How are you, sir? Oh, it could be worse. You're right. It could be raining. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that might be the one thing to keep me out today, but... Yeah. So far, so good. Have any records this time? No records, no, sir. I'll check back with you. Thank you. You got it. Da, da, da. Well, I'm going to go check out the Dixie house. It's warm. They don't get many records nowadays. They've got a room full in the back, but I've been through it many times. Sometimes we'll get paper goods that are pretty cool. Occasional ancient electronic equipment I've really scored a couple of good things realize I haven't fallen down on camera yet in all of this series I do that from time to time ah, let's go in as Ray Campy said in play it cool frigid man frigid yeah I would suspect it's the same stuff Ninety-nine percent sure this is all stuff I've seen. I do like the practice, though. Sometimes when I go into places, I won't grab the first stack right in front. I'd like to go underneath stuff and check what's hiding. I always work on the principle that a lot of people are just lazy and they won't investigate as they should. I'm lazy by nature, but not when it comes to records. Nah. Okay. Same stuff as before. Pretty well sure of it now. One of my talents is recognizing a pile I've been through. Take that for whatever you want it to be. This I don't remember. these as well. All right. Yeah, all familiar. Well, we've got vendors out here today. I'm mildly surprised. Old Dave told me there were quite a few out here on this side today. And that does my heart good. You see. Yeah, can't get my face in the screen there, but that's okay. You're not here to see me, you're here to look at records. If you are to see me, well, there's something going on. Now, if that isn't sheer redneck class, evil can evil, scramble van. I liked watching old evil, he was a cool dude. No 
records yet. Oh yeah, they are. Right here. Paul oh, Hampton, huh? Pretty cool. Maybe. Man, these things are mint, and I do like the old covers they're in. Four lads. Elvis Presley. Uh, follow that dream EP, but yes, my not anything I need there. Elegance, come on, give me one. Huh. Okay, that's a stereo version of an early platters. It's not bad. Well, cool. Got a couple of minor but interesting 45s. Paul Hampton might be kind of a pop rocker. He did a few things. They were mint shape pretty much. And then the platters is a rather difficult stereo edition. Don't know if it brings anything. Kind of doubt it does, but you know, if I don't get it and find out later, it's worth a king's ransom. Well, actually I'd be surprised, but okay. I just saw Dave there in passing. He doesn't have anything for me today. That's probably the first time he hasn't had anything, but it's been slow for him as well. So that gods of records are angry at us all. Or it could be just a big coincidence. Well, it's a not, lot nicer in here, a whole lot nicer. Imagine the rent here is a lot steeper than out there in the cold, cruel world. All right. I've got that one, Jerry Lee Lewis on Sun. Jerry Lee Lewis. A stack of Elvis picture sleeves. Don't know if I need any of them. I don't think I do. It's all, uh, nah, nothing I have to have. A lot of uh, golden standard reissues, but uh, nothing I crave. Oh, there's the Elvis 78 teddy bear for 10, but guess what? Yeah. That's the well, fairly common one. It's kind of rough. I don't think I need that. But I did bring a couple of better uh, this stuff. Well, I heck, I, yeah. I just, I just bought two forty fives for you that, that I thought everything else is just common stuff. Uh, they're, they're, uh, of course, I put them in this box. Hudson, what is it? Hudson, oh, Tommy Hudson? Yeah, you know, if, if it's on White Rock, I found like oh, yeah. three or four of those in the last month and a half. See, I do 15 on that. Yeah. Pretty solid on 15. The condition yeah. out there, and that one I do 15 too. Those are, the other thing's all new. I haven't found Oh, yeah, definitely. I love the Eddie Bond. I met him one time. Yeah, I do he was 15 a, a piece on those. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely but, take uh, this. And but the, the, the other stuff is just new stuff. Like, you, it's you got it. Well, it's been slow. Everybody I'm talking to has been telling me how slow it's been. Looks like all uh, Tejano Records. There's some good stuff. I've got to learn it, though. Marcus Prado will tell me I missed something, I'm sure. If I had my love with me, the lovely Carrie Rebel, she would translate it all for me, even though I can speak it okay. Found me a good Eddie Bond so far, though. And I like Eddie Bond. I met him one time, as I told Ricky earlier. Met him in Memphis. He was a uh, really well-dressed dignified like a I don't know he was just somebody who looked like he had some authority 
I think you ran for sheriff. Might have been sheriff of some area, maybe McNary County or somewhere. I set that right there and hopefully it won't blow away again. Hopefully this new system of searching records this way will work for you. Before it was awkward at best. Hopefully I can find a dollar record in here. That pays my rent. Rick's pretty sharp though. Album buyer and a 45 buyer. There you go. You need all kinds. I ain't need a 78 buyer. Yeah. That could be me too. Well, no. I, you know, I thought of bringing that damn crate that I, I, uh, I've you finally already seen them, but still yep. some good stuff in there on that. quill. I got some quill, something on quill. Huh. I got a, um, can't think of that one. Damn, I forgot that seven. It's a little carrying case that I took to the record show. We had my better stuff in there. Sure. Then I got two sons in there that are, uh, Johnny Cash. I oh, yeah. Clean one. I got Jerry Lee. I got a pretty clean Johnny Cash. I got, eh, I got some pretty good stuff in there. It was like my little carrying case, but it was my better seven. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I got a, uh, uh, Slim Harp. Not Slim Harp. We're getting blown away out here. <laughs> Man. I'm going to have to lay this sucker down. I'll tell you what. They're trying to blow Eddie Bond out of my hand. I'm trying to construct a wind break here, but instead of just keep breaking wind. Oh, no, that's dad humor. I can't be doing that. Don't pick them up all day. That's like a hippie. <laughs> oh lordy yeah any of this if you see you can use it for a dollar this is just more modern i think it is this is this, is, this over here too i mean oh we'll cool you can look to you I mean oh look whatever you got you're the only act in town today pretty much i bought just a few odds and ends but yeah nothing that gets me all hot yeah and no this is all modern stuff what i want to talk oh, to yeah. is i hope i can get I'm gonna put them out where they can see them because mm -hmm. I want somebody to try to buy them all. Heck yeah. Man, that one guy, what, he, he brought a box, but it was all like, I look, you know, the sits back here while, you know, a few months of the last year. Anyway, yeah. he bought a box and and I looked in there, but it was more stuff like this. You know, oh, like yeah. more modern stuff, more yeah, I've, stuff. Yeah, I've like got a lot of that stuff it. I'm stuck with. And, and some guy bought the whole box. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, wait a minute. Man, I, didn't, I was gonna, Weird. That, you know, that's what I want. Is somebody to come over here? Yeah. Well, you know, I'll, I'll make you all on the whole box. That's what I'm trying to do. Is get get Heck rid of them. Yeah. This is stuff I want to blow out. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got about twenty thousand like that. I've got to get rid of. Yeah. But I just, you know, you don't want to just give it away. Got to do a quick play on this and make sure it plays. I got nickels for the jukebox and it ain't on. Yeah, sometimes I'll see a little spot on the wax. Just want to make sure it plays through. Don't want to pass that on to a good customer. And uh, then have it come back or cause hard feelings or maybe even a murder. All right, over here under the tent where it's less windy behind his van. Gets me a little bit of the exhaust, so that takes care of my high for the day. And another box of, eh, uninteresting, but I'll always look. Who the hell is that now? I'll play that. That looks fairly awful. Wisconsin records can be really cool and weird, and that was a Wisconsin record. Had a lot of cool labels up there. So many were owned by the Kuka Empire. It's a label that started out in the late 50s. It had two or three issues under the name Swastika. Yeah, I, I kid you not. It was a rockabilly and a hillbilly record that I know of that were put out, and it had a big old swastika on there. And I'm talking about late 50s now. So apparently the feds came and talked to the guy and said great music you got to do something about the label company name so he 
understood that they were probably in the right and he changed it to KUKA, C-U-C-A. And then that turned into, well, I don't know, just turned into a big old empire. And he started having really good hits. And I freaking don't believe it. I'm digging a hole to bury my heart. This is why I go through the junk records. That's Jimmy Lee, Jimmy Lee Fathery, right there on this record. I'm digging a hole to bury my heart. He was a freaking genius. To me, probably the first rockabilly musician that really ever was. He was doing rockabilly before Elvis. Yeah, it had country tinge to it, but he played his own Fender No Caster lead guitar. And he bopped and he moaned and hollered and acted up and he was just freaking great he's gone now dang it we'll see if i find a, a proper capital sleeve to throw on it Whew. man that wind is picking up all right Let's see what this is. Eh, pleasant. Kind of poppy. Nah. Her name is Cheryl Belland. I thought it said Cheryl Bell End. British people will understand that. But no love for me there. Certainly don't love her. Okay, but I have found two at $16. Yeah, I'll, I'll shut off this part. Well, that was cool. I found a couple of decent ones. The Eddie Bond is a great rockabilly record with uh, part of the band of Charlie Feathers participating. But then it's got Hank Garland on guitar. All right, back under the big tent, they put out some 78s. Could be the ones from last month, but I don't think they are. These do look familiar. Of course, I see red label Columbia's everywhere, even in my dreams. And that's not a good dream either. No luck, but let's continue our journey. Well, all right, I'm coming down to the end of this day's edition of the flea market. And uh, cold weather has scared most folks off. Let's go look for a record somewhere else. Oh, there it is up ahead. Shimmering on the hill like a beacon beckoning me towards comfort, civilization, and warmth. No, it's a Honda Element, but I always like to get back to it. After I walked a whole lot, my knee surgeries worked out really well for me that I had, oh, a couple years ago in Buenos Aires. I do like to get back to the comforts of home. I'm going to sit here and let my car warm up, thereby warming me up. Let's play a little bit of the Winona two-step. Got to get it centered. These are... Uh, that was Harvard disc. Looks like the hole was enlarged because the other discs in the same pile were standard talking machine discs. And see that big old center hole you could put a finger through? That's what, uh, they were different. They made them that way differently just so uh, you'd have to buy their machine and stick with their stuff. So a lot of people would have a standard machine. Then they'd bore out the center hole of their Charlie Patton Paramount or some insanely rare good thing. That'll 
clean up. I like. I like old music. Not OK Boomer, it's more like OK Flapper or even earlier. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. A, a fiddle tune, nice and jaunty. Yeah, see, something like that might have some value. The husking bee dance. I've never seen a bee husk before. No, I know what they're referring to. Corn husking. And you get a lot of people together to do it because maybe they didn't have no machine for doing it. This one, hope it cleans up well. It's I'm digging a hole to bury my heart. Will some guys jump in the river? Others use a gun. Oh my, some guys jump in the river, some guys use a gun. Wow, that's one of my favorites. Then we've got this little jewel. Slip, slip, slipping in by Eddie Bond. He's covering a Lou Millet tune, which is a rockabilly treasure. Listen to this. You might not know what rockabilly is, but that, that's good rockabilly. And if you don't like it, then you know you don't like it. And that's okay. You ain't got to like what I like. But just come with me anyway. I'll find something you do like. Well, I don't hear a guitar solo, but like I said, it's a pop rocker. Last thing is a stereo uh, thing by the platters. That's all right. Might be some specialist want that. I don't know. By specialist, I generally mean pervert. So, let's go on up the road, see what we can find. Maybe there'll be something waiting on me. Well, all right, we're gonna start thumping our way out of the flea market parking lot. I think we're gonna go south to another town, work our way back to the uh, northwest back up to my hometown i gotta make some phone calls then do some verification on the things i've got going and uh let's just keep this adventure going let's let, 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 let's go further come on come on don't quit yet well cool i saw a sign pointing and said vintage sale so i will not turn my back on such a thing okay so i've gone about seven miles out into uh the hinterlands passed through a tiny town literally called tundra just saw the sign uh, that took me off of the quote unquote main road <clears throat> and it promises me a vintage sale okay hold on in just a moment okay <laughs> i'm starting to hear banjos i do like a good banjo solo i just don't want to be picked by somebody from deliverance Oh, let me hear you squeal just like a pig. Da, 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 da. Supposedly, this is where the vintage place is. All right. And uh, <laughs> I don't see a thing. I do see a sign that says come in, we're open. I'm going to do it. Show them what for. Well, nobody was inside, but I looked anyway, saw a few LPs, and with nobody there, I didn't want to be filming inside like that. Might might have been considered rude. I don't want to be rude. But the gentleman did come out, gave him a card, explained what my life's mission was. His is to make a good profit. Mine is to buy records and then make a good profit. So I think we'll get along just fine. He said he'll call me up when he gets uh, 45 or 78 records. I told him I'd be out here about any time. So uh, let's go on down to that town I told you about south of here. And uh, I think it's a little too chilly today for skinny dipping. So we're going to forgo that. All right, let's go to the thrift store here. We've got a few, I believe, in Athens. We'll just rack them up, check them out see what's there or not there I know I've hit this one a number of times before it doesn't generally to hurt to hit him again 
Okay. Well, here's some LPs and 45s. I don't remember any of this being here last time. Oh Lord, that music. Oh, that's a great old cover. Let's see what else we've got here in the LP since it's the only game in town. Most of the places you'll find gospel albums. Sometimes they're pretty good. Depends on who the artist is and how raw and primitive and unschooled they are. But, no. Okay, so I'm finding some LPs that are kind of interesting. I've got a friend that all he collects just about is Annette Funicello. And this is a big double set. He'll want that. Big drag boats by the Hornets. Looks to be a nice shape. Not a bad thing to have. And then a radio station thing of Marty Robbins. Wide label promo. Don't know if that adds anything to value, but it might. And I'm still looking. Um, don't know who Tommy Lee and the Wanderers is. Didn't look like any rockabilly might have been there. Well, we got a few more to go through here. I like. Well, there's Slim Whitman. He's so gosh darn popular in Europe. What is this? Home insurance company. Well, isn't that nice? Check the dead wax. Make sure it's not something from Memphis Recording Service or some Phillips thingy. Sometimes uh, advertising and boring stuff will turn up that was custom pressed by Sun or Sam Phillips out in Memphis. Don't know that it would have much value if it were, but something to be cognizant of. Okay, we're just stuck in a big old prolapse of, of country gospel. Okay, there we go. Kind of looks like old Brother Max Stevens himself. Hmm. James Robinson. Wonder if he's still around. Nah. Nothing to it. I think I'll pass on the Marty Robbins thing, but I do want this and the Annette, if they're not expensive. Well, cool, bought a uh, couple of LPs there. Drag boat instrumentals. You know, it's probably just a lot like surf. I don't know the music, but it's probably neat. Annette Funny Jello, because a friend of mine likes her, and well, that's good enough. I'll swap that for some other record to him. Let's keep going. Check out some antique stores here. All right, it's changed around here, which I think is a good thing. Uh, okay. Bet you I've seen these, but let's check them out. All aboard for Paris. Nah.
We're in Athens, and that was the home of country singer Tony Douglas. I just saw one of his 45s there. But he did some stuff that's fairly rare. Scarce, anyway. Hope it turns up. There we go. I've got a handful of copies of this one record I just pulled. I'll show it to you in a moment. It's Pat Bobbitt called Tonight. It's a rockabilly, decent rockabilly. It's just so unknown that hardly anybody I'll tell you what, that's a good Buddy Holly style rockabilly. Nice. And like I said, I've probably got five copies at the house. I don't mind a sixth. I have sold it in the past for 50, 60 bucks. It's just one of those you pick up and throw into the pile. And I tell you what, that's a good record. I'm gonna try to get some interest going in this one. It's a East Texas label. And it's really good. It's a Buddy Holly style thing with guitar, probably mid 60s, and quite a marvelous record. If you like rockabilly, you'll like that one. Well, we hit a Goodwill yesterday. Let's go hit another Goodwill today. And one day I'll find a record in a Goodwill. Might be fun. And no, nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, well, it's going to stop there. I am not going to stop there because they're closed right now. Got another place on up ahead, though. I've bought a few good records before. Thrift stores are usually kind of hit or miss. But uh, when you do hit, you hit. That's all I'm wanting. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we'll come back, though. Just because they didn't have it then doesn't mean they won't have it. And I just got a lead a few minutes ago. I've got to go up to Garland and look at a bunch of records, a bunch of LPs and 45s. Looks like it's old enough to be of interest. So I'm fixing to find out how far that is. Plug it into my GPS and we'll head up that way. Well, it's been an hour and something since I last checked with you fine folks. We've got a place here that says they have records and we're going to check it out right now. Oh, cool. I don't know this place. Ah, uh, let's just go check it out. Looks good. Nothing at all I needed. I went and th went through uh, a bunch of 45s, kind of low light conditions, a lot of music playing loud, so I didn't video in there. But it just wasn't anything I needed. A uh, bunch of uh, LPs and some 45s for 250 bucks, but if I can't make off of it, I don't need it. So I'm gonna go home. I think that's where I'm heading. Going to somebody's home, I'm not sure. And I'll catch up with you fine folks later. Please subscribe.